Hi, so this is a quick demo of the Logitech T650 wireless touchpad. As you can see, it's a fairly small device. One control on the left, the power switch, and a charging port in the back. Very responsive. It's got a nice glass top, um, allows you to scroll really easily. And the scrolling is very, uh, very smooth, very responsive, I can find on this computer. Three fingers left and right, go forward and back, that works pretty well. The standard Windows 8 gestures work pretty well. Swipe from the left brings up the other windows that are open on the Metro style interface, and you can switch between them fairly swiftly. Swipe from the right brings up the charms bar, as you would expect. Three fingers up, back to the start screen. Three fingers down, back to the desktop. Where it starts to get a bit harder is when you need to click and drag. So here I have a, a file and you can see to click and drag I'm pressing down with my thumb, moving, let go. That works okay. The other way to do it in the latest release is you can double click and drag. That also works fine. And that'll be familiar to anybody that's used a touchpad before because that's pretty much the standard way that these things work. Doing a right click and drag if you wanted to copy a file is however a little bit more tricky. You have to hit the right space which is down here by my little finger. So if I try it here I can hit the right, click it with another finger, move it, let go and there you can see I did a right click because I've got the, the option to copy. So it's, Sometimes it can be a bit hard to hit the right space because it's not, it's not the button you're pressing here, it's actually the the space on the top and the button at the same time. But with a bit of practice, as you can see, it's quite possible to do a right click and drag. In extended desktop mode, things don't work quite as well because if you try to bring up the charms in this mode, sometimes they appear on this screen, sometimes they appear on my other screen. In this case, they've appeared on the other one. And that's because the, the, the Windows 8 gestures seem to apply to the screen that you most recently had the start on. I can get the start over here by coming into the bottom right hand corner and clicking start. So now I've got the start screen. Now when I go back to using the standard Windows 8 gestures, they work on this screen. If I move my pointer across to the other screen and try the gestures, they appear on this screen. So that's kind of a little funky. You've got to remember that the, the start screen magic will happen only on the screen that you were last start screened on, if you know what I mean. Overall, a very nice bit of hardware. Uh, feels great. Seems to be very responsive. No complaints.